Stress echocardiography is a widely used diagnostic procedure to evaluate the heart's function under stress, typically induced by exercise or pharmacologic agents. While generally safe and non-invasive, it carries some risks and potential complications, making it essential to understand these before undergoing the test. When stress is induced by exercise, complications are generally related to the physical exertion required. These potential complications include cardiac arrhythmias. Exercise can trigger abnormal heart rhythms, such as atrial fibrillation, premature ventricular contractions, PVCs, or more severe arrhythmias like ventricular tachycardia. These may require immediate intervention, though they are usually transient. Myocardial ischemia or infarction. For patients with significant coronary artery disease, the increased oxygen demand during exercise can lead to myocardial ischemia or, in rare cases, a heart attack, presenting as chest pain or syncope. Exertional hypotension or hypertension. Some patients may experience a significant drop or rise in blood pressure during exercise, leading to dizziness, fainting, or other complications. Musculoskeletal injuries. Physical activity during the test can cause injuries such as muscle strains, joint pain, or falls, especially in older or physically frail patients. When stress is induced pharmacologically, drugs like dobutamine, adenosine, or dipyridamol simulate exercise effects. Potential complications include Arrhythmias. Pharmacologic agents can also induce arrhythmias, which may be more pronounced in patients with pre-existing heart conditions. Hypotension or hypertension. These agents can cause significant blood pressure changes, leading to dizziness, fainting, or, conversely, an increased risk of stroke or other cardiovascular events. Bronchospasm. Particularly with adenosine or dipyridamol, Bronchospasm can occur, especially in patients with asthma or COPD, causing difficulty breathing. Chest pain. These agents can induce chest pain mimicking angina, even in patients without significant coronary artery disease. Nausea and vomiting. Gastrointestinal symptoms, including nausea and vomiting, are common, particularly with adenosine or dipyridamol. Allergic reactions, rarely, patients may experience allergic reactions to the pharmacologic agents, ranging from mild rashes to severe anaphylaxis. Certain complications can occur regardless of how stress is induced. Syncope, fainting both exercise and pharmacologic stress can cause a sudden drop in blood pressure, leading to syncope, which can be dangerous if it occurs suddenly during exercise. Severe ischemia leading to cardiac events. In some cases, severe ischemia induced by stress can lead to more serious cardiac events, including myocardial infarction or even cardiac arrest. Death. Although extremely rare, there is a very small risk of death associated with stress echocardiography, particularly in high-risk patients. To minimize risks, several precautions and monitoring strategies are employed, Pre-test screening. Thorough patient screening before the test helps identify those at high risk of complications, considering medical history, current medications, and baseline cardiovascular status. Continuous monitoring. During the test, continuous monitoring using electrocardiography, ECG, blood pressure measurements, and oxygen saturation helps detect early signs of complications. Immediate availability of emergency equipment defibrillators, medications for arrhythmias, and other emergency equipment are kept on hand for any adverse events. Experienced personnel. The test is conducted by trained professionals, including cardiologists and technicians, who can promptly recognize and manage complications. Post-test observation. After the test, patients are observed for a short period to ensure no delayed complications, particularly if pharmacologic agents were used. In summary, while stress echocardiography is a powerful diagnostic tool, it carries potential risks ranging from mild symptoms like nausea to more severe events such as arrhythmias or myocardial infarction. Understanding these risks highlights the importance of careful patient selection, 
thorough monitoring, and prompt management of adverse effects. Despite these risks, when performed appropriately by skilled professionals, stress echocardiography remains a safe and effective method for evaluating heart function under stress.